This is a follow-up to the Arc Raiders optimization guide video. In this one, we'll have a look at the visual and performance differences between the optimized preset and the cinematic quality preset. We'll also look at the optimized settings for individual budget and lower end GPUs, including the RTX 4060, 3060, 5050, and the 5060 graphics cards. This particular comparison compares the optimized settings for the RTX 4070, 4070 Super, 4070 Ti, and most 7070 Ti class GPUs against the cinematic quality preset. The primary visual differences between the two sides is due to the bloom shader. Cinematic preset uses significantly higher intensity of bloom, which can be a little distracting and also quite taxing. Apart from that, both sides look more or less the same with a substantial 30-40% performance deficit. These are the optimized graphics settings for the RTX 4070, 4070 Super, and the 4070 Ti. At 1440p, we're using balanced mode upscaling, the CNN model. RTX GI is set to high. Uh, view distance is set to epic. You can switch to cinematic if you have a high-end CPU like the 9800X3D, 9950X3D, or perhaps even the 7800X3D. But I find this setting to be quite taxing. I recommend let letting it be on epic. Uh, Anti-aliasing doesn't matter because we're using upscaling, shadows are set to cinematic, epic can be a bit faster but loses a substantial bit of detail. Post-processing is set to medium textures at cinematic, effects at medium, high is also fine. Uh, reflections on medium, foliage at high, although cinematic is only slightly slower and renders quite a bit more foliage. Global illumination is set to low, doesn't really make much of a difference. So as you can see, we're rendering around 120 FPS, which is what you'll get in the larger maps uh, without the overhead. If you have a 144Hz or 160Hz GPU, you can either switch to performance upscaling or enable frame gen, which works really well at 100fps plus input frame rates. So as you can see with uh, frame gen 2x, you're getting around 180 plus FPS in this zone and around 180fps in the open larger maps. Frame gen gives us the extra overhead to improve the graphic settings by increasing dynamic GI to epic, view distance to cinematic. As you can see we're still averaging around 180 FPS but this will drop to around 144 to 160 FPS in the larger maps. Here's how the cinematic quality view distance and epic RTX GI quality works in the larger maps with frame gen.
Don't shoot. Okay. So the game mainly averages between 130 to 144 FPS, but when you're looking at large open areas or when there are a lot of objects on screen, it often drops to 120 to 130 FPS. That's expected it's because of the higher view distance quality, because a lot of a lot more polygons are being rendered on screen, a lot more objects are being drawn. So if that's too distracting, lower the cinematic quality preset for uh, view distance from cinematic to epic.
If you're playing on a 4060 mobile or a 3060 desktop, a few things need to be kept in mind. Uh, for starters, dynamic RTX GI is fine at 1080p at the high quality preset. View distance works best at high, shadows also at high, textures fine and cinematic, everything else at medium or high. This should get you 9200 FPS in the open larger maps. At 1440p switch to performance upscaling transformer model. It's best to uh, disable RTX GI dynamic mode in this case to maintain the 9200 FPS average. Everything else stays the same. 